In this video, we are going to go over how to represent a number using base 10 blocks. You will need a place value mat and you will need base 10 blocks. Please look in the video description for PDFs that you can print out and use at home. Once you have your place value mat and your base 10 blocks out, we're ready to start. Let's take a look at the equipment that we'll be using today. Let's start with the place value mat. You will notice that this place value mat has two places, a ones place on the far right and a tens place to the left of the ones place. We're going to be making two digit numbers. One digit will go in the ones place and one digit will go in the tens place. We're also going to be using base 10 blocks. We're going to be using ones for the ones place and tens rods for the tens place. You will see that I have ten one cubes all put together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten ones are the same as one ten. So whenever we need to show ten, we're going to use a ten rod. Let's start with the first number. Here's the numeral 47. We want to represent 47 as a number on the place value mat. It's a good idea to start on the right hand side with the ones place. I need seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I can go to the tens place. I need four tens. One, two, three, four. To check that I've made the correct number, I can count to double check. I'm going to skip count by tens and then count on by ones. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. I have made 47. Now we're going to go on to a new number. It's always a good idea to clear your place value mat before you go on. Now I have the same digits, but I have them in a different place. Now the 4 is in the 1's place. So I need to use 1's to represent 4 when it's in the 1's place. 1, 2, 3, 4. The 7 is now in the 10's place. So I now need to use 10 rods to represent 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Once I've made my number, I can double check that I've done it correctly by skip counting by 10s and counting on by 1s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 74. I've double checked. Once you've double checked your number, clear off your place value mat to try another one. Let's try making the number 30. Here is 30 as a numeral. We want to start on the right hand side and make the ones place first. In 30, there are no ones, so this remains empty. In the numeral, we hold that place with a zero. Now to the left in the tens place, I need three tens. One, two, three. That is what 30 looks like using base 10 blocks. I could count all the ones to double check, 
but I don't need to because I know the 10 rods will always have 10 ones together. So I can skip count by 10 to double check. 10, 20, 30. Once you've double checked yours, clear off your, clear off your place value mat and try another number. Let's try the number 63. Here it is as a numeral. The 3 is now in the 1's place, which means I now have to use 1's to represent 3. 1, 2, 3. To the left of the 1's is the 10's place. I need 6 10's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can skip count by 10's and then by 1's to double check my number. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63. I made 63. Once you've made 63 and double checked your number, clear off your place value map. Let's try another number. Here is 19 as a numeral. It's a good habit to always start with the ones place. So I'm going to start with nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. To the left is the tens. One, ten. I'm going to double check that I counted correctly. I could start counting the ones and then go on to tens, but it's a little bit harder to do that. So I like starting, skip counting by tens, and then counting on by ones. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I made 19 with my base 10 blocks. Once you've made 19 with your base 10 blocks, Clear your place value mat and get ready for the next number. Here's the numeral 5. We're going to represent 5 with base 10 blocks. It only has one place, the ones place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When we have nothing in the tens place, in a numeral, we don't hold it with a zero. We simply put the single digit. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Once you've double checked your counting, clear your place value mat. Try making some of your own numbers. You could try to make 66, or you could try to make 15. Good luck, and don't forget to double check.